everyone welcome back to my channel my name is hope and this is mission keto and today's video is a recipe video we are going to be making something that i have made before on this channel but it's been a little while it's been over a year and it is a favorite on this channel it is the reuben sandwich casserole um, it is not my recipe recipe i will make sure i link it down below for you but it is so good if you love corned beef, sauerkraut, and like the Thousand Island and Swiss cheese. This is perfect. It is four total carbs per serving, no bread. And it's just a way of eating something that you love so much. Like when we would go to a restaurant and a, I wasn't sure what to get, a deli sandwich, a Reuben sandwich would be what I was looking for because I knew it was always delicious. So this is one of my favorites. Um, we have a lot of new subscribers, so I wanted to make sure since we're still in the beginning of the year, if you're looking for some inspiration or looking for something new to eat and you're kind of getting bored with the same old thing, this might help. So let's go over to the counter in a few minutes. We're going to go over into my mom's and make this in my parents' house because they've got the oven and I am making this for my lunches this week. Um, but the big elephant in the room, I guess I can spill the beans on the Mission Keto channel now, is we are moving to an RV uh, camp and working on that campsite for the next few months. Um, I have put my notice into my um, full-time remote job and a lot of thought went into this but this video announcing that went on the RV channel um, just a couple days ago I don't know when this is going to post so uh, I wanted to at least give you guys a quick update that that's kind of what the big news is if you want to know more about it and hear how we came to that decision and all of that because we did not take this lightly um, I will link that for you actually I'll link it at the very end of this channel you can click on it when this um channel when this video is done but we are very excited I would like to say too that you might see some new things on the Mission Keto channel because I'm going to have to really make sure that we are budgeting our food a lot better than I do now you know we're gonna have to really plan it out and make sure we don't spend past a certain amount maybe a week or every two weeks however we do our grocery shopping so if that's something that interests you with the rising costs of groceries, uh, definitely stay tuned because I, I was just, when I went grocery shopping the other day, I made my meal plan. I made my list. I really didn't get too much off of my list and I still, still spent way too much in my eyes, but it was stuff we needed. So it's like, okay, you know, so it's going to be an interesting thing, but I'm excited for the challenge. So definitely tell me if that's something that you're looking forward to down below. But we are so excited about this journey. We are so excited to take Ralphie along too. He's pretty excited also. And we just can't wait to share with you so much. So there's going to be a lot of new content on both of the channels. So if you haven't checked out the RV one, go check it out. It's pretty good. And that's all for now. So let's go make this Reuben sandwich casserole. Okay, so here are all the ingredients that we need. And look how simple this is. A lot of stuff you probably already have in your fridge. However, the corned beef's probably the thing you wanna buy or maybe the sauerkraut. But for the base of it, you just need a pound of corned beef. I'm gonna chop that up and it's gonna go on the bottom of my greased uh, baking dish. Then you need a pound of Swiss cheese or two cups of Swiss cheese. You could use sliced cheese. Also, I have used the slice. Um, that's how I first started making it, but I have found that this makes it more ooey gooey, bubbly, you know, how we like our casserole. So either way works though. You need a container, I think it's 16 ounces of sauerkraut, but you wanna heavily drain it. Squeeze all of the moisture out that you can because you just want it to be less watery in your casserole. That's it for that. This is the sauce that we're putting on. And look, this is stuff that you probably mostly have. Um, you need a little bit of mayo. We need a little bit of sweetener. Um, a little bit of onion. Well, it calls for diced onions. I don't really, I'm not gonna, I don't usually buy white onion a whole heck of a lot, so this works just fine. And I don't want the onion to go to waste, you know? Um, white vinegar. However, I don't have any, my mom didn't have any in her cupboard either, so we're just gonna use some rice vinegar that I have that's unopened. It's natural, mild, and mellow. The main thing is to just get some tanginess, I think. We're also gonna get that from some pickles. It said dill relish, but as you remember, I bought this for the hamburger casserole that I'm gonna be making. So might as well chop up some of these and you need a little bit of kitchen, kitchen, ketchup. 
I have the Primal Kitchen one here. If you can't find this anywhere in your stores, I do have a link for um, a discount off of that on our website, realmissionketo.com. So I'm going to speed things up and kind of put everything together. And then uh, we are going to grease this first. I've got my um, avocado oil spray. Grease it. All you do is layer the corned beef, the sauerkraut, the dressing, and then the cheese. And we put it in a 400 degree oven for 20 minutes and it's done. All right, so this is ready to go in the oven. I've got my oven preheated to 400 degrees and we're just gonna set the timer for 20 minutes and you're gonna see what it looks like when it comes out. I tasted the sauce and this vinegar is completely fine with it. So if that's all you have, you could probably use apple cider vinegar, any kind of vinegar, just to get that little tartness that they're looking for for that dressing. So let's get it in the oven. All right, so it is done. Let's take it out and see what it looks like. Oh, it is, oh my goodness. Just how you want a casserole to look. Cheesy brown goodness, it's bubbling. So we're going to um, let this cool for a little while and I'm gonna put it, it's supposed to make six, but I'll be honest, it's probably gonna be more like four for me. <laughs> um, well, maybe a little more. This does look bigger, maybe five-ish. Cause I don't need anything else with it. I don't have like a salad or anything with it. It's just this. So. Um, but I will definitely let it cool. We'll put it in individual containers for lunches and I will do a taste test with you guys later. Okay, so as you saw, I was getting it ready. I've got four lunches. That's what I figured I would get out of it because yes, it's in a big dish, but it's very thin too. So I'm just making excuses for why I eat more than what the desired is, <laughs> but that's okay. Like I said, I mean, I don't have any like sides with it or anything, but let's do a taste. Mm. That is one of the best things that I make. I love it so much. Now, if you have not seen, there's a recipe that I, Andy and I have made up, invented, is the Cuban sandwich casserole. And I think I was inspired by this. Basically, you could do any kind of sandwich that you love and make it into a casserole and you're enjoying it without bread. But very recently I made it and I put three different ways of eating the Cuban sandwich casserole. And one of them was just the regular casserole way. One was putting the Swiss cheese down first, baking it and using that as your wrap. So you could do that with this also, or you could make some truffles, which you can make truffles out of just cheese and an egg and have that be your bread and still have a bread. So if you have leftovers of any of those things, it's just a fun way to kind of change it up, but you're still having this delicious food. So my lunches are ready for this week. Please make sure you hit the like button, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will see you on the next video. Bye.